Welcome back everyone to Poppin' Optin' with Optin'. Today, 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 we're gonna be talking about fishing. A lot of you guys have been asking me for fishing guides. We're gonna be discussing how to fish, how to catch fish, what these items do, what the hooks do, what the worms do, what the rod does. So there are two important aspects to fishing before we actually start fishing. The first aspect is how to know when bodies of water connect. Some bodies of water actually connect and you catch the same fish in the same location. Now, for those of you that are fishing for a specific fish, you might already know where to fish. But if you're like me that just enjoys fishing as quality time, you might want to know where specifically there are different fish. And I have an easy way to let you know where you should and should not be fishing. As an example, if I catch a tuna fish down here, and I catch a tuna fish here, and I catch a tuna fish also up here, it's safe to let us know that this whole entire body of water, no matter where you fish, will have the same fish. However, if I fish here for a tuna fish, and then I go to the Pable Mines, it will not have a tuna fish in it. So that lets me know it's a different body of water. It's a different location for different fish that you might be able to catch. I'm generally the one that likes to go from location to location, and I like to experience all the different fish. If you notice that there is one fish the exact same as another in a different body of water, that lets you know the body of water is connected and you should not waste your time there. The second thing we want to discuss are nodes. So nodes are basically the little bubble area. There's a lot of confusion about what nodes are and, you know, should you actually be going for these nodes? Nodes do not increase the chances of catching a rare fish. However, it increases the chance of catching a rarer fish in terms of star quality. So when we look at the food, we can see there's a star right there underneath the food. That means it's a high quality food. When you catch fish or catch bugs, you can sometimes come across a star quality fish. That does not mean it is a rare fish. Keep that in mind. So when we're discussing these nodes, these nodes do not mean that you are going to get a higher chance of catching a rare fish you get a higher chance of catching a star quality fish. And for those of you that don't know the difference between star quality and regular quality, star quality fish, bugs, food, and what have you can be placed inside of your home. So now that we've learned about fishing locations and we also learned about fishing nodes, let's talk about the actual fishing activity itself. So we have four hooks, two worms, and one tracking item. Let's talk about the hooks first. So the first one that we have is major safe zone size booster significantly increases safe zone fishing size when equipped. So let's go ahead and equip it. You can also unequip hooks if you right click it and unequip gear. When you put hooks inside of your inventory, sometimes the game will just automatically equip it for you. So for those of you that don't want that, just do that to unequip it. Now, as you see when I'm fishing, the size of it is way bigger, right? So that means I can keep track of the fish a lot easier because it is wider for me. The next hook that we have is the rod health booster. Slightly increase fishing rods health when equipped. Now, if you don't know what the health is when you are fishing, the health is the bar that appears right there. If I go out of the way, you see that I have more HP than before. Well, for you guys, if you guys compare with your rod, you'll see that I have more HP. Now, upgrading your rod does give you more HP. So if you have a lower graded rod, I might just have more HP than you do, period. But as you see, that is the health bar and so when you have the hook equipped that says you get more health it's talking about that bar right there the third hook that we have is the safe zone speed booster significantly increase fishing safe zone speed when equipped now when we're talking about the safe zone we're talking about the green bracket when you have this hook equipped it's much faster there's some fish that go left to right left to right really really quickly and so this would be good for those fish that do that type of thing as you see, it's a lot easier to navigate that fish with that hook. Last but not least, we have the rod recovery booster. Significantly increases fishing rods health recovery rate when equipped. So as we already stated, the health bar is at the bottom of your screen when you're fishing, right? If I go out, you see how my health is draining. But if it's in the safe zone, I get it back. And you see how much faster it is compared to the previous one, right? And so if you're someone who struggles with catching fish, and getting out of the way, you can use this to get the health back much quicker so you basically have more effective health. So which hook should you be using? Because there's four hooks and you can't use them all at the same time. The best hook, in my opinion, to use is the health booster. I've used this one to catch the unicorn fish. It's a very rare fish and those fish that are extremely, extremely rare, 
you want to make sure that if they go out of the bracket, you still have HP to play with. And so I highly recommend that you use the health booster, especially if your rod is lower grade quality. This gives you a higher chance of sticking with the fish. If you've ever experienced catching a high quality fish and as soon as it goes out of the bracket, it's gone and you don't even have time to adjust, it's strictly because you don't have enough health. So I highly recommend using that hook. So next up, let's talk about the worms. We have regular worm and we have glow worm. You can also just fish without a worm in general. The best way to think about worms is think of it like a tree. I can get these fish with no hook, right? If I use a regular worm, I can get the regular worm fish and the fish with that it needs no hook. If I use glow worm, I can get the glow worm fish, the regular worm fish, and then the actual no hook fish. So it's not like, oh, you get these specific fish with these specific worms. It's, it's a tree thing you get all the fish it's just you have a chance to now gain access to the regular worm fish you have a chance to now gain access to the glow worm fish if you're just regularly fishing i recommend just using regular worms they're very easy to come by if you're looking for a specific fish obviously use your glow worm do not just use glow worms to just fish for random stuff have something specific in mind that you want with the glow worm so the last thing we're going to talk about that's an item is the tuning fork i don't think you should go for the tuning fork i think that it's just kind of something that's there to help track nodes unless you're looking to put a specific fish in your house that you need star quality i don't recommend using the tuning fork or even buying it or doing the recipe for it so now i want to share with you some tips and tricks that i use to make sure that i catch my fish certain fish will behave a certain way some fish go left to right really fast, some fish pops out of the water a lot, and some fish will actually just do both. And so how to handle those types of fish is how you're going to be successful when catching them when you come across them. This fish, you see it likes to go left and right and it likes to pop out of the water. What you're aiming to do is keep the bracket, I'm intentionally not reeling it in, but what you're aiming to do is keep the fish within the bracket. You're not aiming for the fish, however, you're aiming for the bobber. So when you are trying to reel in a fish, it's always the bobber. Some fish are very elongated like this one, so it's very weird. So if you keep it on the bobber, it's a lot easier for you. Now you can tell this fish is jumping out of the water. When it pops out of the water, do not try to reel in. Let go as soon as you see that it's bouncing out of the water because you will drain your health. As an example, you see, I just drained my health when I tried to pull it in, when it's popping out of the water. Sometimes you can let a fish do what it wants to do, like real fishing. You can let a fish do what it wants to do real quick and then look what happens when you let it do it it stops you see and so it'll tire itself out i don't know if it's actually a mechanic or if it's just a fish resetting but it's real life fishing where a fish you let it tire itself out because you can't really reel it in while it's going crazy and so when you are dealing with a fish that's rare it'll be going crazy crazy don't try to reel it in don't try to force it just let it behave how it wants to you see how it stops like that before let it do it. Let, it. let it chill. Let it relax. You know, take your time. It's not a race. It's a marathon. So let's go ahead, throw it in here, and we're going to give one more example. There we go. It's about the same fish. And so let it tire itself out. You see, look. Now I can pull it in, right? Wait for it to do its thing. Now I can pull it in. Another cool trick is when you slap it to one side, you see how it's coasting? Do it just a smidge. And if you know which direction the fish is going to go, I don't even have to touch it. Look, I'll do it right now. I'll, I'll try to get the thing and I'll lift my hands up. Ready? One, two, three, go. You see? So this whole entire time when it's skating left and right, if I find the rhythm, I can literally reel in and not have to move it. Look, right now. I'm not touching it. I'm letting it do its thing. Stop. Right? Follow the rhythm. Let it let it do its thing. Let it do its thing. Let it do its thing. Look, not touching the movement. It's moving by itself and I'm reeling it in. You want to be safe. You want to be cautious. You want to play slow. That's how you catch these rare fish. Very rarely do I have a rare fish just snap because I play it slow. It might take you a solid 30 seconds to a minute to get it, but it's better than wasting hours to try to find it again, right? To recap that spot there, when you are fishing, take your time. If you can smack it and let it just slide while you reel it in, let it do that. Let the fish get tired because once it stops, once it resets its positioning, reel it in because there's nothing else you have to wait for now. Now it's, you're waiting for it to reset and do its thing all over again. Do not try to reel the fish in when it's in the air. Let it bounce out and stop. You still want to track it, of course, but let it bounce out and then stop and then start reeling it in. If this video helped you, please thumbs up. If you guys enjoy guides like this one, make sure you subscribe that way you're notified for the next one. And if you have a specific guide you want me to cover, please let me know in the comments below. I do not mind making these guides for you guys. And you know what I always say. Thank you guys for doing what? Popping often. We're locked in.